Hello YouTube, welcome in my 16 GB ViewSonic ViewPad tablet. Running Windows 10 build 10240, the latest build. So, um, yeah, what is it? How does it work? Well, I had to change it a bit around because I'm uh, kind of stuck with a uh, low memory uh, device here. But uh, let me uh, show this device to you. Um, oh, I'm typing on my keyboard. <laughs> that was really stupid. If you was here, you would really laugh. <clears throat> I'm typing on something that does not exist. What we're doing now, we're checking uh, the system. And you don't see anything. But then you can see it. This is Windows R. And if we want it even more precise, then we say uh, Win Fur. Oh, I'm typing on my keyboard again. I must learn to type on the screen. Uh, Win Fur. You can see it built 10,240, as I said. So, let me tell you about the installation. Today I updated to 240, it was still running the build before the 240, it was activated, was on all the time, so uh, today I logged in and it updated to the final build, so there we are on the final build. Um, let me show you something, I had to clear all my space to be able to do the upgrade I needed 5 gigabytes about 5 gigabytes I came up to 4.7 gigabytes that I could clean up I removed really all my apps that I had no pictures no downloads no nothing and after I installed Windows and it was done I had 149 uh, megabyte free space this thing was red so I was making a video was recording the process how to you know clean it up but something happened with the with the recording and it all did not record so you go to right mouse click and then properties and then up here you're gonna select disk clean up okay and um, after you did that it will start doing a cleanup and after this is done we gonna let it scan one more time for system uh, for system system files and etc and uh, then it's also gonna find the installation files of Windows and you can then select uh, about four gigabytes of stuff that you can remove and then you will come to a point uh, where you will have about 4.5 gigabyte free space I installed one little app so in fact yeah it's 4.5 gigabyte that you will have from the whole 16 gigabyte so how to use a tablet like this in fact this was not a Windows 8.1 tablet this tablet came with Windows 7 and with Android uh, 1.6 this tablet also runs Android 5 x86 in a fantastic way um, you know this thing can run in fact everything but now with Windows it got itself a, a fantastic operating system also uh, completely activated legal to use Here you can see it has two, two processors at that time they only inserted one gigabyte of memory in such a beautiful device 
you know this is a very nice device very powerful anyway nevertheless so this is it so how to work with a machine like this if you still have for instance this machine and you run uh, Windows 10 on it and you're like hey um, yeah only 4.5 gigabyte won't be able to do too much with this well these uh, tablets they all have um, how you call it uh, a SD card holder and in the SD card holder you can go ahead and uh, stick in a 64 micro SD card um, yeah I would go for a fast uh, card with high speed um, then uh, you can rather go for a little bit smaller but then high speed than a bigger one slow speed okay but I think most of them are high speed now so check that out uh, stick in the card and of course we will then be able to save uh, certain files and folders to that card so we can keep this clean so we will get another hard drive here so we're gonna use that to save our downloads and and I'm not even sure if under um, under Windows 10 for PC this thing what I'm running here this version I'm not even sure if we can also move move uh, space let's see these are about the settings that we know that we also have in our phone this is system opslag here hey. look at that you see that Here we're gonna select to, you know, when we insert the, the SD card to save to the SD card. Here we can, I think, select this. And this is fantastic eh, because uh, we will be able, just like in our phone, we will be able to copy certain things to the SD card. I don't have an SD card at this moment installed but here is the environment that you must be to do it I will not even let it happen at this moment <coughs> but that is where you must be to get more space just insert a nice big card uh, into it so you have enough space so the 16 gigabytes the 14.5 that is in use that will be especially for the operating system to run so you can do like everything really fast uh, I had to uh, install this start menu uh, why because not uh, because the other one is not good but I'm gonna show you why gonna, you know I'm not going to I'm gonna close this one so now we have the original start menu back you see there is a kind of waiting time in it eh? this PC has to less memory to really but in fact I can all you see it takes it takes a while to load of course you must also have patience you know so up here I can get into all my apps so in fact I should leave it like this you know I can also put it on tablet mode let's go ahead and put it on tablet mode up here we go to tablet mode and now it's on tablet mode you don't see any app because in fact I removed all the apps you see and if I hit this oh. I removed the search because it makes no sense to use the search because Cortana is not the although I could use the other search this one but Cortana is not supported in my uh, language and in my location I rather have it like this I'm a annoying old school user so I like it like this so I'm just gonna leave it like this all right I think it's beautiful peeps uh, this is the only way that I think that you can use a tablet like this if you're gonna do serious things on it 
uh, just to make sure that most of the things are being saved as I showed you to uh, to your SD card insert the SD card and uh, yeah use it here is your keyboard it will pop up uh, you must get used to it when you're on the internet you know and uh, you see the search here has been put in on top there let's go to home <clears throat> I think this this is all I'm not even sure Wait, hold on. oh there it is so if we now hit uh, you see then it comes exactly good the keyboard I was a little bit fast my, my system is a little bit uh, lagging now because the recording is probably uh, getting a little bit bigger uh, but in fact I'm using Explorer I'm using Explorer and uh, if I'm gonna use the keyboard you will see that the keyboard will close uh, the part where you must type so that that is also a little bit uh, yeah maybe an idea to update Explorer so it comes or maybe we should just put it like this I'm not even sure no that's not possible I love I love how we can big up things really nice So I think that is the only issue if you use another browser. If you must type something in Edge, it will be way more easy. You see, if I hit my keyboard, bam, uh, channel 48, boom. Hey, I must type on the keyboard, of course. Damn. It types it types pretty nice, right? What is this? That is very brutality. So where is my ah never mind. But you know you get the idea. So I'm gonna close this boom peeps this was my video um, what did we learn in this video we learned that installing Windows 10 on a tablet if you did not uh, buy the operating system if you was also in the technical preview project then you will find out that 16 gigabytes uh, will nearly be enough to do the last update to the 230 but you will have to you know make five gigabytes of space free oh yeah one more uh, place where you should go to free up space uh, i forgot to tell you that is to your c drive you go oh yes you must set your folders to show uh, also the hidden folders i think you should know how to do that and then uh, you go to users and here you can see the user tap 10 and then app data this is a very important folder because in there you have the folder called local and in there you have a folder called temp and in here stuff is being you know um, set away and this folder really get big so you must also clean up that folder and then uh, do the system cleaning as I showed you at the beginning of this video then you will be able to clean all after the install and you know have yourself a little 4.5 gigabyte it's not much I know but at least uh, your old tablet can run the latest operating system of uh, Microsoft and uh, probably it never thought that it would do it <laughs> and still cool that we can still do it on a 16 gigabyte uh, tablet so yeah well that was it uh, if you think this video was okay of course like and subscribe till my next video bye bye